Okay, the next type of factoring is called factoring by grouping. How you know that it's factoring by grouping is you have four terms. So four terms means you have one term plus or minus another term plus or minus another term plus or minus another term, four terms. That's how you know it's factoring by grouping. The great thing about it is once you identify, oh, I have four terms, I'm gonna factor by grouping, it's just greatest common factor. It's just what we just learned, okay? So you're looking at um, two terms and you're gonna group them and just see what's in common. So I'm gonna group the first two and I'm gonna group the second two. Okay, so you're just grouping. So what you're doing is you're breaking up a big, long, four-term polynomial into two two-term polynomials, okay? So I look at my first two. I go, all right, what's in common? Greatest common factor. Look at my numbers. Three and 12. Three is in common. I also have an A in common, okay? So 3A is what's in common. When I divide 3A, 3A out, I have an X left. 12A divided by 3A is just four, okay? Now, I'm gonna use this same sign. This middle sign is gonna um, generate the proper procedure, okay? So always use that middle sign. Now I jump over here and I look and I go, okay, what's in common? Two and eight, two is in common. They have B's in common. So I'm gonna factor out two B. What's left? X plus four, because eight divided by two is four. All right, now if you notice, what's in parentheses is the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. So now I'm just gonna factor again, greatest common factor. What's in common? I have an x plus four in common. What's left is my three a plus two b. So you factor what's in common, and then the two things that are left, that's why you need this sign, is gonna go in the other set of parentheses. So again, to be able to check this, if I were to FOIL this, I'd end up right back where I started. X times 3A is 3AX. X times 2B is 2BX. 4 times 3A is 12A. And 4 times 2B is 8B. So again, always double check. It doesn't take very long just to mentally go back through and multiply. Okay? So here's another example. I have four terms, so I know I'm going to factor by grouping. I'm going to group the first two, group the second two. Now, if there's ever um, something that doesn't have enough in common, you can switch them around. Just make sure you, you bring the sign with it. So you can move them as much as you want, just as long as you keep the sign in front. All right, here we go. 6y squared minus 2y. 6 and 2 has a two in common. They both have y's in common. So remember, we're taking the lowest exponent okay, on the, on the variable. 6y squared divided by 2y is 3y. 2y divided by 2y is 1. And notice I'm using the same sign. I can double check. 6y times 3y is 6y squared. 2y times negative 1 gives me negative 2y. Okay, I meant to do this in black, sorry. Pins running out of ink. Okay, then I come over here and I'm going to use a minus sign. Okay, so what's in common? I have a 3 in common. What's left? 9y minus or divided by 3 is 3y. Three, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Now, notice I didn't put a sign. So I'm, I have a negative 3 out here. So 3 divided by negative 3 gives me negative 1. All right, now again, these are the same. If I don't use this middle sign, these are not going to be the same. I'm going to be off by one, one uh, sign. So if you ever have a sign issue, come back to here. It's because you're using a minus here. So these should always end up being the same thing. So factor again, I have 3y minus 1. What's left, 2y minus 3, goes in the other set of parentheses. And that's factoring by grouping.